We are going to discuss some important quantities here in a circular motion. So let's start off again by reminding ourselves what is angular velocity. Okay, this is defined as the rate of change of your angular displacement. And remember, it's measured in radians per second. And so if I say your angular velocity, for example, is pi over 2 radians per second, then what does that mean? Well, it means that in one second, you will travel a total angle of 90 degrees, and that may look something like this. Right. And then if we think about this, so we take one second to do this, assuming that your angular velocity is constant, then of course, in the next second, you will do this. In the next second, you will do that. And of course, in the last second, you will do this. And so it turns out you take four seconds to complete one circle. Now we call the time taken to complete one circle, the period, denoted by big T. Now, let's think about this very carefully. Period is time, and we know that we, if your velocity is constant, the time is so simply distance over the speed. Now, we can also think of this in terms of angular quantities, and so we can say angular distance over angular speed. And so, if I think about that again, let's say I want to consider the motion of one circle, or an object moving in a complete circular path, then the average angular distance it travels, of course, will be 2 pi radians, and the speed is just given by omega. And so we have our first, well, I like, I don't want to call it a formula, but I guess you could think of it that way, omega equals to 2 pi over t. And this is always true as long as you move with a constant angular velocity. Now, let us also introduce the term frequency. Frequency is defined as the number of complete revolutions per unit time. So let's consider an object with a period of, let's say, half a second. Then basically, in one second, it would have done two complete revolutions. And so we can say that its frequency will be two revolutions per second, and the unit that we use to describe that is the hertz. So 2 hertz means 2 revolutions per second, right? And so we can see that there is a nice little relationship between frequency and period, and that is the frequency is simply 1 over t. Go ahead and try, right? Try using uh, some examples of this and see if it makes sense. For example, a period of half a second means 1 over half is 2. Similarly, if my period was 2 seconds, then my frequency would only be half a revolution per second. And hence, this formula seems to make a lot of sense. And so with this in mind, combining these two, we have also omega can be represented in terms of the frequency 2 pi f.